Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alia and if you're new, welcome to my channel. You better subscribe, you know I be. Anyways, today is just a quick video. I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Miley Professional Wax Heater. Um, so I know you can use this both at home or professionally in your salon on your clients. Um, so it doesn't go up to a specific heat, but you can put it on medium or high. Um, and yeah, it will it will melt the wax. I mean, you don't need to know how hot it is. You just need to test it on your wrist. Make sure it's not too hot. You know, don't have it on high and then test it on your wrist. I would I would suggest putting it on high. Once it's melted, turn it down a bit. Test it on your wrist before you put it on your skin. And you already know the deal. But I'm no wax professional. Just a quick disclaimer before going any further. I'm no wax professional. And also this, uh, this video is not... Um, it's not um what's the thingy uh it's not supported in any way it's not sponsored okay um but yeah i just want to show you guys so i got some wax sticks by realm Moles, as you've just seen um and this is the syrup pearl uh hard wax blue beads i got this off amazon i had seen good reviews about it in the past hence why i purchased this brand um i haven't used it before but i will guys i will tell you guys um how it was on my on my skin. Um, I have really really uh, thick hairs, especially in my bikini area. Um, my arms, I've not really. I don't really tend to get rid of the hair on them. I have when I was younger, and they did get thicker. But um, since then, I kind of left them alone. So these are my arms as they stand. Um, and yeah, they can definitely do with a wax or or something. Wouldn't you agree? So, uh, as mentioned, I've not done this before, so I don't really know how much wax beads to use, but I'm just going to assume um, I have been waxed before. Like, I used to get waxes um, like every month until they started becoming kind of expensive. So, yeah. Um, in this pack, I got 800 grams, and the, the, this pack cost me 32 pounds of Amazon. Um, but yeah, I, as I said, I'd seen really good reviews on it, and um, because my hair is thick, I didn't want to take any chances by getting like you can get a wax um, by Miley as well. Um, but I thought, let me try this one first, and then we'll see how it goes. So because I only used a small amount of wax, once five minutes have gone by, it did start to melt already. Um, and by ten minutes, once ten minutes had passed, it was fully melted and I was able to get going. So because I had do get Brazilians and Hollywoods, this wasn't too too scary for me for a first time to do my arms. Um, I'm sure those who get their bikini lines or uh, Hollywoods or uh, Brazilians I'm sure you can all agree with me <laughs> to say that if you get your arm done it will not be as scary as as getting your bikini I mean oh no just no even the smell of the wax melting it reminded me of going to my wax appointment because I would get like PTSD before going in but you just have to hold it firm it in yeah pull off pull off pull off So after pulling off that first piece of wax, um, I'm quite amazed, really. <laughs> I'm one of those people, I buy things and I think, hmm, they won't work. Until they do work, until I see that something works myself, then yeah, I won't get excited. But I'd seen that it pulled off my hair and my arm is looking baby smooth now, why? <sighs> yes. I'm giving this thing five stars <laughs> but girls this works wonders um, I use this in other places uh, as well as my arm so I will show you further along the video I won't show you everywhere because I'm going to be doing my my bikini my stomach everywhere everywhere that hair can grow yeah technically <laughs> uh, I've got a holiday coming up and I want to be baby smooth you know it's one of those vacations, so can't be prickly out here. Can't be going to Greece prickly like a cactus. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I really don't waste any time 
very messy with it. Um, as I said, I'm no professional, but if you were to do this at home, mm, yeah, you could probably try to be a little bit more neat with it. Um, I've seen in loads of other videos you need to have a lip to actually pull it off. Uh, so yeah, make sure you have a lip like that. This is lip. You need something. You need to be able to pull it off. Uh, so if you're wondering what, what what is she talking about a lip, then I'm talking about this. Okay, you struggle to pull it off if you don't leave enough wax and kind of make or mould yourself a lip. So before buying the wax beads, I definitely was contemplating if this was the right product for me. Um, being of Caribbean ethnicity, I have very thick rooted hairs. Um, and if you're black or, I don't know, from somewhere that I'm from, maybe you have the same kind of hairs as me. Or maybe you just have thick hairs. Um, so, yeah, if you have thick hairs, then this may be the product for you. so guys I don't just put myself through this pain for no reason um, I've had a pretty bad experience with using razors in the past um, they cause all kind of bumps <coughs> yeah just razors they aren't too friendly compared to the waxing option um, I don't know again it may be because of how coarse my hair is um, that waxing is way more beneficial for me um, so basically using wax pulls out the hair by the actual follicle um, and it grows back a lot more slower than it usually would by using shaving creams or shavers um, so yeah it just makes the process a lot more slick and professional by using the wax heater um, and using wax really um, so once you find the perfect temperature baby look at those pits oh my god wait Sorry to change the subject, but they pay, baby. Show me again. Show me again. Show me again. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Nice and smooth. That's how I like it. Yeah. I don't know if I covered the cost of you guys of everything, but the wax heater was twenty-one pounds. Wax was thirty-two pounds, and spatulas were two ninety-nine. My. So if you're any good at math, then you'll know that comes up to fifty-five pounds and 99 pence and I've still got wax beads left and I also have the convenience of being able to wax myself at any at any given time so I think it's a win-win if you buy this you can still go for your waxes if you decide not to um, you can also just wax the sensitive area or the, the areas that you find are less sensitive um, but honestly if you just get a bottle of wine kick back <laughs> you'll be fine not that I drink but it helps maybe paracetamol guys as I mentioned before um, I've been waxed and I usually get Brazilian waxes or Hollywood wax I've not done my legs before I have I've done it once but this was years ago so I would say the pain I would say the arms, on a scale of one to five, they're probably around two. Uh, I'd say the legs are around three, and funny enough, it's I don't know the hurts. the um, bikini area or if you get Hollywood. <sighs> the painful, the most painful part, I'll tell you, is the lip. That's the most painful part. For some reason, the lips hurt. Um, but other than that, I would say it's around the same as the legs. Um, around 3, 3.5 so if you're thinking about it honestly just go for it if I can do it you can definitely do it <laughs> um, so yeah my advice to you if you're doing this from home is to put something down to avoid making a mess I put a top down I have no idea what I was doing I still made a mess I don't know but I don't know this is so unprofessional um, and that's exactly why I'm doing this video for people like myself who are just a bit crazy and um, yeah decide to give themselves a wax <laughs> but 
but I've um, I appreciate you guys watching my video today if you enjoyed it make sure to like it make sure to subscribe um, I really do plan on doing more videos in the future <sighs> the only problem is I find it so hard to find a niche like everyone talks about having a niche I'm like oh, I don't have a niche I mean I relate to anyone who watches my videos and do you know what I mean, I don't want to single anyone out. If you've got hair growing from your body, whether it's thick, thin, um, I hope this video was beneficial to you. Um, and again, just like and subscribe, drop me a message, hopefully, we can connect. And yeah, let's keep it going 2022, let's keep it rocking.